why am I going to talk about the banking system? Funny thing. Um, and I spoke about this the last time I was uh, at the Casey conference. And it's the same old, same old, except that it gets worse. Um, and I always love using this inver inverted pyramid, which basically suggests that banks have five cents of capital supporting a dollar of assets. And perhaps to appreciate the uh, dilemma one can get in, don't think for the time being about, let's say, a money central bank, but just let's imagine you're a banker in Egypt today, or you're a banker in Paris today. And um, of course, in Egypt, everyone wants their money out of the bank, so they limited withdrawals. Um, in uh, Paris, everyone, as you've heard, is taking money out of the banks. There was an article by Siemens saying they took 500 million out of the BNP, Banque Nationale de Paris. Um, Lloyds of London took a great amount of money out of the Euro banks. And essentially what you're witnessing in Europe as we speak, and has been going on for quite a while, is we have a bank run happening. And that's why there's all this discussion behind the scenes. What new fund are we going to create? essentially all of which would go to banks. And why is it that we need to support the banks? Because when the money goes out, you have to sell an asset. The bank has to sell some asset. Now, what asset are we going to sell? If we own stocks, which lots of banks, lots of stocks, by the way, they're all down 25% in Europe. Uh, if you have to sell uh, European bonds, a great swath of European bonds have fallen very dramatically, and you'd have you'd have to report a loss, which of course, banks never report losses. They always pretend everything's worth par, which some of us at least have figured out it's not worth par. Or you could try to sell a commercial mortgage that you have, a residential mortgage, but you know, when a guy from BNP goes over to see the guy at SOCGEN and says, look, I got this book of uh, mortgages I want to sell. He said, well, funny thing, so do I. And now there is no one to sell it to. So we're in that very undesirable position that the money's leaving the banks and you cannot sell an asset. The same would be true of Greek banks. You know, if somebody here would like to buy a Greek mortgage, have I got something to sell you? Um, that's the problem, that they're over levered. The fundamental problem is that we started in a banking system that got over levered. You know, the Fed started in 1913. And as time went on and all these banks wanted to get higher, higher returns on capital, the one way you could do it was by leveraging yourself up. And, of course, uh, having changes in the rules which don't count some things as assets, you can lever even more. For example, I think government securities maybe don't even get counted in the assets you have, so you don't have to have any uh, capital reserve for it. And that's the, uh, the fundamental problem uh, that we have, that the banking system is over-levered, and it got that way over a period of now almost 100 years since the Fed started, and most of these banks are now going to rue the day that they got that levered as, they, as we all realize there has to be a big unwinding. 